Konnichiwa, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the land of the rising sun, exploring an intricate and often misunderstood element of its history and culture, the Yakuza. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content. Now let's dive in. Part 1. What is the Yakuza? The Yakuza is not just a criminal organization. Yes, they are involved in illegal activities such as gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution. But the Yakuza story isn't just about crime. They are deeply rooted in Japanese society and history. And to understand them, we must travel back to the 17th century. Emerging from street merchants and gamblers, these groups provided protection and security in a time when the formal police force was unreliable. Over the centuries, they have evolved, and today, they are one of the most organized crime syndicates in the world. Part 2. Structure and Hierarchy The Yakuza functions much like a family, or perhaps more accurately, a feudal hierarchy. At the top is the Oyabun, or Godfather. Below him are his Kobun, or children. The organization is broken down into multiple layers, with each member having a superior to whom they owe loyalty and respect. This strict hierarchy is one of the reasons why the Yakuza has survived and thrived for so long. Part 3. Rituals and Customs The Yakuza are known for their strict rituals and customs. Let's take a look at a few. Firstly, there's Irizumi, the traditional art of Yakuza tattooing. These full-body tattoos, often hidden under clothes, are a powerful symbol of commitment and loyalty to the group. Then there's yubitsume, or finger shortening. This is a form of penance or apology. If a member makes a serious mistake, they're expected to cut off the tip of their little finger and present it to their boss. It's a vivid display of personal sacrifice and atonement. Part 4. Yakuza in Modern Society In modern society, the Yakuza's role is complex. They're seen as outlaws, but they also play a prominent role in business and even politics. Sometimes they are even regarded as necessary evils, helping to maintain order in areas where police presence is minimal. They've been involved in construction, real estate, and entertainment industries, and have even been known to provide disaster relief. Part 5. Legal Status and Future of Yakuza In recent years, the Japanese government has introduced a series of laws targeting the Yakuza, making it harder for them to operate openly. Their numbers have declined, but they are far from gone. Indeed, the Yakuza's adaptability and resilience are impressive. Despite crackdowns, they continue to evolve and find ways to survive, often focusing more on corporate crimes such as fraud or corruption. Furthermore, the younger generation of Yakuza is increasingly tech-savvy, making use of modern technologies to conduct their business, opening the door to cybercrime. The Yakuza of the future may not resemble the image we have from movies or traditional media. Part 6. The Yakuza and the Japanese Economy The Yakuza have played a significant, albeit underground, role in shaping the Japanese economy. From real estate to the stock market, their fingers are in many pies. This has had both positive and negative effects, driving economic growth in some sectors while perpetuating corruption in others. Part 7. The Yakuza and Japanese Pop Culture the Yakuza's influence isn't confined to the shadowy corners of society. In fact, they're a major fixture in Japanese pop culture, featuring prominently in movies, manga, and video games. This has undoubtedly shaped both domestic and international perceptions of the organization. Part 8. Women in the Yakuza While the Yakuza is a male-dominated society, women also have a place, though often marginalized. Women's roles have typically been supporting ones, but that's slowly changing. Today we see a rise in the number of anaguma, women who play more active roles in the organization. Part 9. The Yakuza and Human Trafficking An uglier side of the Yakuza's activities is their involvement in human trafficking, often forcing women into sex work. Japan's complex relationship with this issue, where condemnation is often at odds with cultural norms, adds another layer to the Yakuza conundrum. Part 10. The Yakuza's International Reach While we often think of the Yakuza as a strictly Japanese phenomenon, their reach is global. They have connections with other criminal organizations worldwide, 
from the Italian mafia to the triads in Hong Kong. This international network makes them a potent force in global organized crime. Public perception of the Yakuza is a mix of fear, respect, and disdain. Their reputation as chivalrous organizations lingers in some quarters, but many Japanese citizens also view them as a dangerous and destructive force. As societal attitudes and government regulations evolve, so too does the public's view of this notorious organization. And that wraps up our extended look at the Yakuza. From their historical roots to their modern incarnation, the Yakuza remain an enigma. Their future is uncertain, but their influence on Japanese society is indelible. If you enjoyed this deeper dive, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, sayonara.